Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at this Lightyear Hyperspeed Series Armadillo. Now there are two available. There's a brown one. I've got two of those I think in England but I haven't reviewed them. And this newer version one which I've got again two in the UK and one here. It just looks amazing. Now I have got the uh, the full or the uh, bigger sized one for the normal light years, uh, light year figures, I put a review at the top right for that, but this just looks better. <laughs> it looks really quite fantastic. Okay, let's get a close look at the box. Okay, so you can see you've got the light, the um, armadillo there. You can see that the tail fins are articulated. Door opens. There are electronics. There's a button on the top, and you can see the speaker behind the grill there. Three figures. Nice that the astronauts are different sizes, reflecting the movie. And you've got the uh, Zyklops there. On the back, it shows you that the back door opens, cockpit opens. You can put the little arm on, grab things, and the landing gear. The landing feet come down really quite nice. You know, I just wish that Lightyear had done well, or the toy line had done well, and Mattel had continued, because their Lightyear stuff has been fantastic. Now, Mattel did mess up in the fact that their Lightyear stuff, not this stuff, but the bigger stuff, wasn't 118, and it wasn't 112. It was in between. If they'd done 118 or 112, they'd have sold a bucket load more. Anyway, I'm going to pause this, unbox this, set it up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. And here it is. What a great looking ship and accessories. Before we go further, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. You're going to see everything before it's published on YouTube. We have prize draws and we also have exclusive content as well from time to time. So it is worth checking that out. Okay, let's get a look at what it comes with. Look at the accessories first. Comes with his arm, which I've not attached yet. Bit of dry brushing on that. Make the colours pop. Maybe a bit of inking, and that'll look fantastic. Very nice arm. That'll have uses of customs as well, but let's go find these ships cheap. It's not worth buying loads for these arms. We get the three minifigures. Got the Zyklops here. Pretty nice. Do they put a little dot in the eye? I can't see. Yes, they did. Well done. Bit of paint on that, and that looked great. And we've got the two little astronauts. I'm assuming one is maybe Buzz, and what's the other small one called? I've forgotten. So you've got the two little astronauts here as well. I think that small one is probably this one here. Same sort of colouring. So this one's from the. Uh, the, what's it called? The, bug, the space buggy, but this is the Disney Parks one, not the Mattel one. I'll put a link in the top right, you can see that's a fantastic vehicle. So, very, very cool. And we got the ships, get a close look. Now, I have put the landing gear down, and that is not an easy feat to do. That's not easy for kids, I'm telling you. I had to actually use um, some tweezers to get out, but that does look nice. Nice paint work, bit of panel lining on that. It's very cool. The only thing is you've got that screw there. I mean, it's good if you want to you know, take it apart. You've got that one screw there, and that's, oh, that's for the batteries, I think, actually. Not for taking it apart, I'm telling you a lie. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so features. So landing gear I've taken down. It's got a push back, and it'll click into place, and that click into place is what makes it very hard to get out in the first place um, to uh, stow it. The little tail fins here. Go down and up. The back ones we saw already when it was boxed. Fold in and out. The back door does open, though it's going to be a bit stiff. I'll get my little pliers again. Little hole I can pop, there we go, pop into. And you've actually got a fair bit of space inside, if I'm honest. You can see there's not much you can do inside there. Unless you had a side door opening. I think the small... Brown one had side door opening, can't remember the big one does. But it got loads of space, you know, so I can store my mini figures in there and it'd be quite safe. That door is not easy to open. Then you've got your cockpit, which again is is it easy or not? Not too difficult to open. Doesn't open so far, it's okay. And you've got seating for four figures in there. Very, very cool. And we'll look at that in a second. Let's turn this light off. 
and you've got awesome sound effects. Let's see if we can count how many. You might have to help me. So I might, have to, I might be double counting. So we have lights in here, lights in there. They don't always light up depending on what the sound is, but let's see. One. Okay, two. Oops. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Have I had the same sound twice yet? I'm not sure. That's fifteen, I think. I think we've had that already, so we're looking at maybe 10, 11, 12. Mm. But very, very cool. Now I'm gonna have a look with figures inside and see how it looks. They got, uh, sorry, the figures have articulation. Legs independent, straight, and the arms independent, that's it. Same with all of them. Fitting beautifully there, but will they fit nicely together? That's the question. Have a look. Hmm, not bad. And arm, both arms in on both of them. Just about. I must get the light going on in the cockpit. bad and then we have this arm which will attach into this little hole here which way okay so any one way it attaches that turns around it's got the bend and then the it's like, like a little clip both of these are on I'm thinking like not both one's on a spring and it can do this too and does it turn I thought it'd turn around you know like it'd twist Look at that box. I'm sure it was twitter on the box. Maybe I'm telling a lie. Oh, they're deceiving you. So if you look at the box here, it's turned sideways. But it looks like you can't actually turn it sideways in the actual uh, arm when it's attached. There's no twist I can see. But then that could just get a little grab. You've got your side plops. You can drive along. And to take it out, it should be the same orientation you stuck it in because there's three little, little awesome bars. And taking that to be quite important. Let me try this off camera so you can actually uh, store it nicely or have it with its landing gear down. There we go. That is a fantastic set. Now they were on Amazon for uh, Amazon US. For quite cheap, I have to say. I think about 15 bucks or less. Um, so very cheap. In China, this one, I don't, don't tell you how much this one cost me. That was, extor that was extortion. Even though I got three, I bought two cheap ones, one expensive one. In China, this one cost me probably about 45 pounds, which is really expensive, but it is a fantastic toy. I like that a lot. I think it's a cracking toy. 
cracking job by Mattel, which is a shame that the movie, which is okay, bombed and that the toy line didn't really do well enough. But for us, it means we can get things on clearance, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so all Smash Toys signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon. I'll uh, see you in the next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.